Right, welcome to the channel. We are going to make our way to this little village called Codsell using Satnav. We're going to go an alternate route. Apologies to Jess. She's worried that I'm going to die going this alternate route because of fast cars. I'm pretty confident I'll be fine. We'll see. It's people like that, the overtakers. Right. Yeah. Happen this is recording. I think it is. Oh, I know it is. Just gonna get the right angle. Oh. The battery bars a bit low. Two bars. Should have really charged it when I wasn't using it. Three. It felt like there was a lot of drag there when the tyres went over these leaves. Hey. I'm going to make this a quick one. Right, this is the bit. A lot of people going down there. I'm going to take my time. So it's five minutes to Cuthle, the way I was going to go. Let's get round this corner. Because this, this corner's the dodgy bit. People um, like to speed down here and overtake, and they'll overtake on the inside. Blind corner, won't see me. So, let's do it like this. Right, this is going to be interesting. Whoa! That was a bit... I'm not used to looking left over my left shoulder. Here's a caravan park, which a lot of people didn't know about. Well, the battery's up to four bars now. Oh. I could do some more gears just so I could help out the uh, the bike. Slow. Right, it wants me to go left. Here, so I shall. I need indicators. Here's when there's fast cars. You got a fast car. I used to go riding all the time down here, but I had never really knew where I was going. I don't think any of us really knew where we were going. We just kind of rode. I've been down here before. Uh, I chased Steve, so I think I've driven past this, and he was on his bike, and there's like a farm or something down here. I've driven down here, I've actually I've ridden down here virtually. So this is the first time I've ridden down here in reality. <sighs> it's nice to get out around this time, hopefully the video isn't too grainy. It's good how Satnav is actually working on the bike as well. I mean I know, there's no reason why it shouldn't work. The car behind me now. Oh, I suppose I've got to wait now. I could have made that. Here I am, just still, peace, there's a, there's a, a horse. I really should have went, but I suppose I'm a bit slow, aren't I? Up that big hill. I think there's some sort of uh, plant nursery here. Yeah, I could have died, could have died. If there's a pavement, I'll just get up the pavement, but there isn't. And they're probably thinking, why, why is a bike, why is a, a, a little man on a push bike waiting? Just waiting at a traffic light, I've never done this before. Come on! Yay! Oh, oh shut up, big ears! It's quite a steep hill, probably the steepest hill this bike's been up with me on it. 
I'm gonna try and get a bit of exercise in. Whee! Oh, this is fun. I had a friend who, uh, when he got to uh, 17, managed to get himself a Ford Escort, and uh, his name was Guinda. My dad knew him, and he used to pick us up, right, drive down here at stupid miles an hour. My mates loved it. Me being the sens uh, sensible soul I was. Decided after one ride, I wouldn't get in the car ever again. Uh, he never did crash, but you never know. Me getting in the car could have changed things slightly differently. Bit of bad luck. People coming around the corner, a corner like this one, overtaking, wrong side of the road, hitting a bump. Anything could happen. <sighs> I mean, if you've got a friend like that, if you're at age where your friends are going road driving, there's nothing wrong with just saying, nah, I ain't doing that. Nothing wrong with not being a follower. Go your own way, your own slower way. Or get an e-bike. Go everywhere on an e-bike. Hopefully I'll get through this journey and uh, alive and not just get proven wrong. Oh, it's so nice though, just to get out. <sighs> just lovely. Country lanes, they're a weird thing, aren't they? Like, why is it about a country lane that means you're allowed to go 60 miles an hour? It just don't make sense. It's like, right, you're on a road. It's dirty. Right, we're on a really fast road now. You're allowed to go 50. Right, you're on a really narrow single track country lane you can't see what's coming around the corner go 60 go mad have fun there's a lot of carts coming out there i do not understand the logic it's as if there's some sort of old rule similar to that rule that has banned e-scooters because they've said that e-scooters are carriages like people with their goats and swine or something like that one of those old-fashioned english things because uh, although we're a fairly modern country we are old-fashioned in many ways um so yeah i wonder if there's some weird rule that allows people to just go stupidly fast on country lanes and they just can't be bothered to change it because it's not farmers their tractors don't go that fast even their lamborghini do make tractors it don't make any sense So what do you reckon, if anyone's here in this? What do you think about country lanes in the comments? And what's it like in America? You know, you have those interstate roads where uh, people dream about getting like, um, what car is it? I'm gonna get it, Dodge Challenger, there we go. Getting a Dodge Challenger, and then just traveling from one state to another state, super fast. Are, they, are there no speed limits on those roads? How, how fast are you actually allowed to go on those roads? And because they are just straight, after a bit, do you get a bit bored? Right, I am going to go left. Shall I go left? Yeah, go left. That's my old school over there. Right, Satnav's telling me something different now, so I'm going to turn this off. Because uh, I know where I am now. There's only country lanes I didn't really know about. I might go more into Codsall next time. It's a pretty place. It is a pretty place. So yeah. <clears throat> What's the speed limit on those interstates? Uh, is there no speed limit maybe? I'm not thinking of Germany. With the autobahns. There's no speed limits on the autobahns. Go as fast as you like. It's cool. Go for it. That's my, uh, my friendly German accent. Because there's a friendly German accent. Not the stereotypical angry German accent. So, 
Yeah, I wonder if I knew them. I mean, I went to school around here. As I just said, I went to all the schools around here. Well, two of them. A middle school. I could have known those people. They're a little bit younger. Not all people my age look, my, look as uh, young as I do. Despite the bald head. I must say, my uh, wing mirror position isn't the best. So this, this is like the first time I've pretty much predominantly gone on roads. A carrier over here, and it's time for the light. They look dressed up, going somewhere nice. What is happening right now that is nice? I literally, like, I know lockdown's kind of over, but there's not much going on. No proper dressed up? Local wedding, Just maybe? Do. I'm not sure loads of people are allowed to go to weddings at the moment. Right, so this is the way home I've done before. I think I'll go up the curb and slow down. I, like, I don't like going fast on the curb. At least to get right past this red, red light. I've been here before. I think on my night ride, maybe? I think my first night ride was around here. So, uh, I need to check that back brake as well. It's not slowing me down that fast for some reason. I haven't changed anything. Right, let's get back on the road. Let's get back on the road. Oh, hang on. There's cycle lanes here, isn't there? I'll go back up again. Oh, I'm always a bit wary about going up curves like that. Some curves are slightly, they're slightly a bit too tall where they go down. Just enough for you to uh, lose your grip and slide and get scabs. And I can't be having scabs on my legs. I'm too old to have scabs on my legs. He says, with scabs on his legs. Oh, nettles. Oh, car. They stuck me on? Oh no, but they stuck me on the barrier. Ah! Right, day ride turned into a night ride. It's like I'm a usual way down the park. Oh, so it just goes straight home, straight. I think I would like. I'm down to one bar now. Be careful here because it's uh, a cycle track, but I'm going to cross. Ooh. Thanks for not killing me. I came out of nowhere. That's the problem when you don't go that fast. Alright. I wonder what happens then when this gets to one bar. I mean, no bars. Surely me driving on its own should uh, fill it up a bit. I don't know, a bit bumpy here. Oh. Woo. Yeah, come on England, fix your roads. So, let me know if you happen to find this video and you're, uh, you're part of this world, this crazy world of e-bikes or want to get into this crazy world of e-bikes. Because I'd be interested to know uh, just just any old stuff really because I'm loving it to be honest by the way dad if you're watching hello how are you doing oh two bars right now I'm coming to the bit where people want to take your bike but because I'm riding on the road I'll be fine my first ride I pretty much uh, only one on pavements, and I was kind of worried that people would be like, Yo, give me a bike. At least now, by the time they see me, I'm gone. So this bike, uh, it's meant to have a top speed of 25 miles per hour, but that very much depends on the weight of the rider. I'm finding with my heavy ass, tops, it's topping out at around 22, which isn't like mega fast at all it feels it definitely felt fast at first when i first got this bike and it was restricted to 15.5 which actually it still is so if anyone listening it still is 15.5 i restricted it yes um 
it felt really fast because it was very rare that I'd go that fast on the bike. But then when I started using, you know, going a bit faster, pedaling faster, you kind of get used to the new speed. Like right now I'm going 20. Feels like a nice speed on a bike. When you're in a car going 20, it feels like you're doing nothing at all. Going 21 now. So what, what's a good, what, what do you reckon is a good cruising speed? I mean, at the moment, my legs, my, my pedals aren't doing anything. It's like totally pointless. I'm going downhill, just doing 21, dropping below 21. Car coming. Both ways. Yeah, what's a good cruising speed for an e-bike? I'm kind of getting the itch to go over 25. I'm also learning to be a bit less giving on the road to my four-wheeled compadres. Is that a word? Compadres? Like co-fathers? I don't know. But, but um, I found out that I want to kind of stay really close to the curb and be like, I'm really close to the curb, don't kill me. But then I don't want to go over the drains because it kind of unsettles me a bit. Right, I'm going to go around the roundabout for the first time ever, like a, like a proper road user. So, uh, I can't indicate. Uh, thank you. I need indicators. Yeah, I fancy going down the canal again. I always end by going down the canal. I love the canal. Oh, Kirby. Ah, oh, classic. Classic game of Kirby. Good lads. Good lads just playing out until the mom calls them in. I don't even know what time it is. I, I haven't had my dinner yet. I think it's coming up to dinner time. It's definitely coming up to uh, lunch. You know what, I'm not gonna do the canal. I'm gonna do right walk. I'm gonna go underground. All right, so that's a bit different. I've been here before on video, briefly in my review of this bike, the ADO A20F. Anyone wants to see the review of the ADO A20F? Check out the channel. The other channel, the VRC channel. Something's squeaking. So uh, here's another place where I used to play football was when I was a youngster. Not that much. There are a few people around here. Street football, like the Brazilian style footballer I am. Kicking out around uh, a watermelon until it bust. You know what? On second thoughts, I probably shouldn't have come down here. I mean, it's not too bad. But there could have been some youths. Youths. So I think I'll go up. I'll go through... Uh, through here. Right, I think I will say goodbye now because I'm near home. So if you enjoy listening to the ramblings of an old man cruising about on an e-bike, give us a subscribe. If you enjoyed the conversation, albeit one-sided, a like for the video would be lovely. And hopefully I shall see you in the next one. Don't forget, if you like virtual reality and other technological things, my other channel, the VRC, is right around the corner. So until next time, I'll see you then. I bid you adieu. Look, bumpy. I bid you adieu. Goodbye. Take care. Peace.